Hi fam, today I'm going to make a very special recipe, assorted contour marie stew or assorted palava sauce. If you are a contour marie stew lover, you definitely want to try this recipe. There are so many things going on in there that you do not want to miss. So if you're excited, let's get right into the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new here. Don't forget to share this video to anybody that you'd want to try this recipe. Let's go. First, we're going to start with our contour marie. We're going to cut our contour marie into our desired shape and size. So some people like it very thin, others like it very big. Just go with what you are comfortable with. I'm then going to put my pan on fire. I'm going to add some water. So this step is also quite optional. Some people would want to add the contour marie directly into the stew, but then we would like to cook the contour marie just a bit before we add it into the stew because sometimes it can be a bit itchy. But as always, just go with what you are used to if you do not want to try my method. We are going to cover this and cook it for a few minutes and then take it off the fire. So as I said, this contour marie stew is assorted, very, very assorted. So we have a variety of things that you're going to use. That is mushrooms. You're going to also add some snails, known in tree as Nwa, to this recipe. So here my mom is showing how to take the snail from its shells. If you don't buy the dry ones and you buy the fresh ones, it will be in the shells like this and you would have to be the one to take it out. So if you need help on that, this is the video of how to do it. Next thing, you're going to put it in a pot and then you're going to cook it for a while. You're going to fry it in the stew, but then you want to cook it for a while. So my mom used um, salt to cook it. The whole idea is to harden it. You want it to be hard because that's, that's more tasty. I mean, that's as far as I know, that's more tasty. So I'm going to cook this for a couple of minutes, like three minutes before we start. So we're going to add in our palm oil. You can use a vegetable oil or any other oil that you want. We're going to add in our carrot fish or fermented fish, however you want to call it, also known as momone. I'm going to fry that for a few minutes to release the flavor before we go in to add in our other ingredients so i said i'm going to add um snails to it after cooking it for like three minutes my mom added it to the the palm oil to fry it for a couple of minutes to also you know release the flavor of that into the stew but then you can just cook it and add it if that's what you want so we're taking it up to the fire after you know having it in the oil for like five minutes next we're going to add our tuna smoked fish or our wire then we're going to add in some onions and we're going to fry all that together to release the flavor and, and all of that. It's, it smells really good when you do it like this. Also, there was a, a part that we nearly skipped. We had um, blended pepper sitting right in front of our nose but we forgot to put it in at the beginning. So if you are making the stew, after frying the onions for a few minutes, you add in the blended pepper. Don't be like us and forget. Yes, we added it eventually, but then it was supposed to come in at this point. So now you're adding in the chopped tomatoes. Usually we want to use chopped tomatoes because sometimes when you blend the tomatoes, it becomes too watery and it takes a while for it to cook. We are going to cover this for it to cook for a while. Next, we're going to add in our gushi or akatua. So what we did is we had the fresh ones. We bought the fresh ones. Then we added some water and salt to blend it together. You don't want to add too much water. The consistency should be like this. And then we added everything to the stew and then we covered it. So don't stir immediately. You put in the gushi, allow it to sit. So as you, when you add it, just see the way she's just spreading and not stirring. Then you cover it for it to cook properly before. If you want to stir, you stir. Even with the stirring, you don't want to stir too vigorously. Just gentle stirring at this point so now i'm gonna open it and as i said gentle stirring you don't want to mess up the egg sheet so now most of the ingredients that we've prepped are ready our mushrooms have been cut into desired sizes our um snails have also been fried and it's sitting there you're going to add in the mushrooms at this point the mushrooms are very soft so you don't you don't you just put it in there for a few minutes for it to you know cook with the stew and then you can add in the other stuff also, when you add it, as I said, no vigorous stirring, just gentle stirring at this point. We're going to cover this for a while for it to cook. So, as I said, we forgot the pepper at the beginning. 
so this is the point i remember that oh there's no pepper in the stew i'm wondering how we would have eaten this stew right so we added the pepper in at this point and then gentle stirring so after adding in the mushrooms we covered it for it to cook for a few minutes so you can see that everything is looking good this recipe is actually very simple but very very delicious so now everything is put together you allow it to sit for some time especially because we just added the pepper if you've added the pepper at the beginning of the recipe it wouldn't sit for this long you just want it to cook as much so that when you're eating it you don't actually feel like there's fresh pepper in it right so as i said gentle stirring also at this point because you don't want to be breaking the meat or breaking the the mushrooms that you've put in you're going to be adding all the other stuff pretty soon and you're almost done like with consumer stew or palava sauce you don't need to do too much and oh if you have uh, if you don't have consumer let's say you're out of, outside the country and you want to try the recipe or something like that so this is me adding seasoning to it and then we add salt when we add everything together so as I was saying, if you are um, outside the country and you want to try this recipe, you can use spinach. Spinach is a great um, alternative for this recipe, right? The same thing. The only thing is that spinach is very, very soft, so you don't need to cook it before adding it. You just, either you chop it or you add it whole. And once the stew is like almost ready, you add in the spinach, allow it to sit for some time, and it's good to go. I'm also going to add um, macro. This is very optional. I know so many people do not enjoy macro so if you do not like it you can just take it out also because you have smoked fish or smoked tuna in there if you don't want to be doing too much you can take it out as i said with this recipe you wanted to go all out so there's a lot of things happening you can even add um beef you can add chicken whatever protein that you want to add it's assorted so you can you can assort it as much as you want so at this point we are getting close to you know finishing our stew we are going to add in the fried um, snails or omar to it and then i'm going to give it a good mix it's looking like it's a, it's a ready meal already like at this point you don't even need to add anything you can just eat it raw that is what i was thinking i was like this meal is like already whole on its own and the aroma at this point was just amazing I trust me that if you try this recipe, you would come back and say that wow, this is like the best consumer stew that I've ever had because it was really, really that good. You guys know that me, I don't give you guys like any recipes. I give you delicious recipes that your family would enjoy. So at this point, we are adding in our cooked consumer. If you didn't cook yours, you can add it in a little bit earlier because you want it to cook with the stew. You don't want to eat some getting itchy tongue or itchy mouth. So you add it. Um, the control me in a bit earlier for hours at this point when you add it you can just let it sit for like a minute because everything in the stew is ready because you've cooked the control me that's the whole point you don't want to wait and then the meat and everything in the stew it gets soggy because you're waiting for the control me to cook with the stew so with this you finish the stew you finish the control me you combine it it's on fire for a few minutes and it's ready to go so so many people are always like oh don't cook the control me because you are doing this and that that is the idea behind this whole thing like so that it doesn't take too much time for you to cook the stew so we are giving it a final stir and they are going to leave it on fire for like a few minutes like three to five minutes and then we we'll start serving look at how beautiful this was looking like and finally salt so you taste for salt if you think salt is not enough you adjust it right look at how beautiful this is looking i was just i was hungry when we were filming this recipe so just imagine being hungry and standing in front of food like this i even forgot to take photos of the food when i was done when we finished the video i just went straight to the rice i was like i can't even wait anymore i'm gonna enjoy this food like right now and everybody who was around during the the making of the recipe can attest to the fact that this was so so delicious right so with consumer stew like there's so much you can do with it you can serve it with rice as we did we served it with rice and eggs like we just went all out so imagine you're eating rice with eggs with snails with mushrooms and tuna and everything in between like it was so delicious you can also serve it with um yam you can serve it with plantain you can serve it with ripe plantain gari like anything that you want it i think you can even eat it with banku i haven't tried it before but i'm sure people try that right so like generally this is the whole recipe it was very very simple it was short if you want to 
try it i would highly highly recommend because you are really really going to enjoy it i hope you loved this video i hope you're gonna try it if you're gonna try let me know in the comments don't forget to subscribe and like this video bye